On June 26, 1947, Sugar Ray Robinson was scheduled to fight 22-year-old Jimmy Doyle. In his autobiography, Robinson told the chilling story of a dream he had prior to his bout with Doyle. In his dream, Robinson was fighting Jimmy Doyle. Ray lands a devastating strike knocking Jimmy to the canvas. Jimmy laid there, unable to rise. I woke up in a cold sweat, yelling for Jimmy to get up, get up, get up. Honey Ellen woke me up, I guess, Robinson wrote. In the dream, Jimmy Doyle was in the ring with me. I hit him a few good punches and he was on his back, his blank eyes staring up at me. And I was staring down at him, not knowing what to do. And the referee was moving in to count to 10, and Doyle still wasn't moving a muscle. And in the crowd, I could hear people yelling, he's dead, he's dead. And I didn't know what to do. Then I woke up. Robinson was so disturbed by the dream that he wanted to back out of the fight with Doyle. Fight promoters, who stood to lose money by Robinson's decision, brought in a Catholic priest. Some sources say a priest and minister, who sought to calm Robinson's nerves by assuring him that it was only a dream. Promoter Larry Atkins convinced Robinson not to cancel the fight because of a dream. In the eighth round of Sugar Ray Robinson's fight with Jimmy Doyle, Robinson landed a left hook to the face of Doyle. The punch sent Doyle to the canvas. Referee Jackie Davis began the 10 count but soon realized that it wasn't necessary. Doyle was unconscious. He died the next day. Immediately after the fight, a shocked and dazed Robinson informed reporters of his premonition by dream, letting out a good deal of the emotion he had managed to bottle up. As he engaged in the fight, he strongly felt in his heart would end in tragedy. Robinson was clearly haunted by the fight. I had knocked out guys before, dozens of them, he wrote. But in most fights, I always had a good feeling. A conquering feeling when I saw them being counted out. Maybe because I could see that they weren't really hurt. But now, with Doyle stretched out, his eyes blank. I had that empty feeling you get when something in your life is really wrong. And all I could think of was the dream. You warned me, God, you told me. Why did I let everybody talk me out of it? Thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe.